What is going on guys, it's Point Blank here, and today I'm bringing you a bit of a more thought out commentary, something that I've been thinking of for a while, something that's been in the back of my head, something I've wanted to talk about, and it will also explain why I haven't been making videos a whole lot lately, not because of me making it or anything, it's just because it is related to what I'm going to talk about here. And what I'm going to talk about is the time investment in games. And what I mean by the time investment is pretty much how much time you spend playing a game. And, like... I divide the time that you spend playing games into two different categories. The first category would be the time you are spend learning the game, the time you spend, you know, kind of getting everything down, figuring out how to do good. In Call of Duty, I'd say getting to the point where you're about like a 1KD or something like that. I mean, that's happened. All of us don't deny it. You never started playing COD with a 2.5KD or anything. But, yeah, and then there's the other time where you are either just playing the game for fun or if it's single player, you're finishing it. Or if it's a multiplayer game, you're constantly improving because I believe that you are constantly improving in a game if you try to play it, you know, at all. But what I'm talking about first is some examples of games like that so you can kind of get in your head what I'm talking about. And something that would be a good example of short and short would be something like a Flash game. Because with Flash games, you know, spend a little bit of time learning it, spend a little bit of time playing it, just goof off in class or something with it. That's really it. An example of a game that I play that has a, like a, a short learning time and a longer playing time would be something like Minecraft. With Minecraft you get the basics down of, you know, breaking a block, picking up blocks, building stuff with blocks and all that. I mean, there are some more advanced stuff you can learn. Well, are advanced stuff. There is more advanced stuff that you can learn, but I consider that like the getting better or the finishing the game, although I guess you can't really finish Minecraft now, but you can't really, per se, but yeah, that's an example of that. And then I think Call of Duty is somewhere in the medium learning and then long playing, especially if you play it a lot like we do, like me and all you guys watching, which I'm sh I don't think there's a whole lot of people that just play Call of Duty a little bit that watch YouTube videos. Everybody seems to be pretty well into it. But, yeah, I mean, it takes you, depending on how good you are and, like, what other shooters you came from, it does take you a little bit of time to get to where you're competent at Call of Duty. It took me most of the way through Black Ops. Like, I think up until about July or August in Black Ops, I was well under a 1KD in pretty much every game. I think I ended Black Ops with a .69 KD. And no, I'm not kidding, that's actually what it was. I can pull it up on combat training sometime. But, yeah. Uh, that's a game like that. And then a game that is a good example of long both ways is what I have been playing this last week or so and why I haven't been able to make videos. I've been playing a certain PC real-time strategy game by the name of StarCraft 2. And for those of you who don't know anything about StarCraft, I pretty much just summed it up there. But, you know, it's the, um, uh, get workers, build armies, destroy the other person, that kind of deal. But it's crazily, insanely hard and complex. And what I mean by that is the time that you spend learning the game is what I'd call... I mean, there's no real definition of when you've learned StarCraft, because you can always get better, I guess. Uh, but that's also improving it. But to get the basics down to where you can even compete in, like, the lowest level league or so, like, any time you play it, you're playing on this um, ladder. Um, so it's, by ladder, I just mean, like, you know, competitive, like, rankings and stuff. So even to get competent in the lowest level of the ladder, you have to spend a lot of time in that game to get good at it. And then, of course, to get where you're playing it more and having fun with it even to get to something decent like uh, the, the levels go bronze, silver, gold, platinum diamond, master, grandmaster even to get to like platinum or diamond or something that takes a lot of time like that's a pretty small select group uh, I mean it's not small but it's a pretty select group it's a lot of people that have to spend a lot of time in it because a lot of people that play Starcraft will just play Starcraft that's why I don't know if many of you guys that play Call of Duty played at all because they're both pretty long time investment games but yeah, that's basically what I've been doing, is I've been trying to play StarCraft, and that's what, that's what made me think of this, is because I'm thinking, man, I haven't made a video in a week or so, and that's just because I've been playing another high time investment game. And something I was wanting to do for you guys is to leave you a question. What game have you spent the most time learning, and what game have you spent the most time on altogether? I'll go, and I'll go, ahead. I'll go ahead and answer those questions. And the first thing I'll have to say is the game I've spent the most time learning would actually probably be Call of Duty. I mean, 
I, I know I'm probably going to spend more time at Battlefield if I ever get back to Battlefield 3. I'm definitely going to spend more time at StarCraft once I get more time into it. But at the moment, uh, Call of Duty wins just because the sheer time I've put into it and the time it did take me to get good at it. Because I, like I said, it was most of Black Ops for me. But that has to be that. And then for the game I spent the most time on, that's got to be pretty close to like a three-way tie or something, honestly. Because of... Uh, could be Uncharted 2, I played through that a lot, that's one of my favorite games ever. Could be Modern Warfare 3, I've played a lot in that, or it could be Skyrim, I've played a lot in that. That's the end of the game, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and go with Modern Warfare 3 on mine, but remember, uh, what game did you take the longest time to learn, and what game have you played the most? That's gonna be it, guys, I end up going 33 and 12 in this game, I hope you enjoyed the commentary, come check out my channel if you liked it, it's Point Blank, I'm out.